My name is Nathan Vita, and today we will be touring the King of the Missions, San Luis Rey de Francia. Let's check it out! Mission San Luis Rey de Francia is located at the edge of the busy city of Oceanside, California. Its location, like all the mission sites, was chosen because it had three important elements. Rich soil for growing crops, a convenient water supply, and a large California Indian population nearby that could be converted to Christianity and made into Spanish citizens. Mission San Luis Rey was founded in 1798 by Padre Fermin Francisco de las Buen, the second president of the Alta California Missions. The mission was named after Saint Louis IX, King of France, who lived during the 13th century. It is the 18th of the 21 missions built along the coast of California. The history of the San Luis Rey area reflects five periods of occupation. Luisenio Indian, Spanish Mission, Mexican Secularization, American Military, and 20th Century Restoration. Because of its large size, the mission has been nicknamed King of the Missions. It was once the largest building in California and remains the largest of the California missions. Before the Spanish arrived to build Mission San Luis Rey, the Lucenio Indians lived in this area for hundreds of years. Their villages were located in valleys, along streams, by the coast, and near mountains. Their homes were made of tree branches covered with mud, and they did their cooking outdoors. Spanish colonization changed the Luceno way of life forever and introduced them to Christianity. After founding Mission San Luis Rey, Padre Lazuen remained here for six days to help Padre Perry, who would be the mission's leader. Together, they decided where grain will be planted and where the church and friar's quarters will be built. When you enter through the front doors of the church, you will go through an amazing, historical, and peaceful experience. You will see beautiful Spanish colonial architecture, both Baroque and classical in style. It is 30 feet high, 165 feet long, and 25 feet wide. This church has been standing since 1815 and is a National Historic Landmark. We're standing inside the conventional church of Mission San Luis Rey. It is a very important building for Southern California. It is the largest adobe building in all of the United States. It is also one of the few original mission churches. Many of the missions as they were abandoned or taken by the Mexican government in the 1830s fell into ruin and disrepair. But the roof of this historic building was never taken off, and the walls and structure are all original. As the mission system collapsed, a lot of the paintings and art from other missions ended up here at Mission San Luis Rey. So they have one of the largest collections of Spanish, colonial, Mexican art located in the church itself and also in the museum next door. The Mission Museum is in this section restored and reconstructed over 100 years ago. 
by the Franciscan Friars from Zacatecas. The museum houses exhibits relating to the colorful history of San Luis Rey. Its collections include artifacts from Native American, Spanish mission, Mexican secularization, and American military periods. On March 18, 1865, President Abraham Lincoln signed a proclamation giving the mission San Luis Rey back to the Catholic Church. Mission San Luis Rey Cemetery dates back to 1798. It is the oldest burial ground in North San Diego County that is still being used. Members of the families that helped build and rebuild the missions are buried here. And the recent expansion of the area makes it available and open to people of all faiths. The skull and crossbones over the cemetery gate are not the creation of missions friars. They were part of a set decoration made available by Walt Disney Studios. Several episodes of the 1950s television series Zorro, starring Guy Williams, were filmed at this mission. Each mission was established with three cooperating entities, civil, religious, and military. The barracks housed the military arm of the mission system. Between five and 11 Spanish soldiers were assigned to protect this mission and lived in these barracks. The building had several apartments and a tower. The barracks were located in front of the mission. When the mission was abandoned, the barracks fell into ruins. Now, there's a fence that surrounds the area where the barracks once stood, guarding the remnants of the centuries-old structure. To the south of the mission is the lavanderia, or open-air laundry. This area was used as a bathing site and a place to wash clothes. The structure also provided a means of channeling the water into the mission's gardens and fields for irrigation. Water from the San Luis Rey River was diverted to the site, flowing down from both sides of the tiled stairway Water spouted from the mouths of carved gargoyles. It is still considered an extensive water conservation system, even by modern standards. A gate which allows one person to pass at a time kept wildlife out. The staircase to the tile and stone pools and the magnificent gargoyles looks pretty amazing. The Mission Quadrangle, a four-sided patio, approximately 500 feet square, is home to the oldest living pepper tree in California. The first pepper trees in Alta, California were planted by Padre Antonio Perry using seeds brought to San Luis Rey in 1830 by a sailor from Peru. The buildings that surrounded the quadrangle included workshops, living quarters, a kitchen, infirmary, winery, and storage areas. Today, tourists are still available and the Mission Museum is open daily. The cemetery, the oldest in North County, San Diego, is open to people of all faiths. The beautiful flower-filled gardens contribute to the peace-filled environment and provide a welcome respite from the modern world. 
San Luis Rey is still home to Franciscan friars and continues to serve the community as a historical, educational, and religious center. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Mission San Luis Rey de Francia. This is Nathan Vita signing off. See you next time. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>